Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow 33 bringing you an exhibition match. But before we get to that, I'd just like to... Just like to say thanks to the people at the Indie Games for Good Marathon for, well, doing a pretty successful charity, and also for showcasing Acron and Zero K. So thanks for that, and you can check out their recorded videos at twitch.tv slash marathon. I imagine they have a YouTube channel too, I haven't checked it out myself, but that they do have their Twitch recordings, so you can check those out. Anyway, on to the game. So we are watching a match between Monkuki and God on Tomb of Heroes. So let us begin. So, Monkuki is starting on the west side of the map, and God on the east side of the map. God is going for... Well, okay, he's choosing his species right now. He's going for Grekum, which is pretty typical for God, although I'm a little bit surprised that he didn't go for CISO first. He often will go for CISO to scout out and then switch over to Grekum, while Monkey is going for Vekir, and not doing anything tricky with that, he is just going straight for Vekir. So, God is... He's getting himself set up, he's got nothing really special going on. Monkey, on the other hand, quickly sending out a couple of units to scout out. While he does know that both he and God do have the starting resource processor set up, and they do only have 60 LC, it's basically, it's like they started with 300, but then had to build these resource processors, or in God's case, had to build a couple resource processors and a Faro. Or, sorry, it, yeah, and a Faro. The Seppi used to be the starting unit, but now it's Faro and Seppi. So they both know that they're kind of been forced onto an economic path, and that they're not going to be doing anything too tricky early on. Granted, Monkuki doesn't strictly speaking know that God could send in a cheese rush with the opening duo. So Monkuki does have some reason to scout out, but God pretty much knows that Monkuki can't do the same to him. So, see, God is just very carefully getting himself set up. Monkuki getting a bit more economy going on early on, too. He actually. Oh, he's, he's ahead by a minute, which is why God is a minute down from there at the 43 second mark. Sending out a Seppi Faro pair, though they are separated from each other quite a lot. It looks like they are just going to scout. They don't appear to be setting up a cheese tactic or anything, just going for a scout. God's going to probably echo that out as well. We'll see him his point of view. Jumping back to his bookmark at 6, which is... That's where he's scouting out. He does have a scout out going from here, and it looks like he's... At his 5 bookmark, probably going to try to un Yeah, it looks like he's going back to undo this, and he has done so. So the scouting has been undone. However, he did not... It's propagated partially, and Monkuki, at his point of view, does see the Faro coming in, and Seppi is coming to the north, but God not seeing this. The green time of carrying the scouting, though the Faro dead, Seppi alive, and going through God will probably use that once it gets far enough, though I'm not sure if he's going to be aware of that. He's... Quite focused on his base and just getting himself set up, getting just the perfect timing for Octos. He does see the Faro being destroyed. He does know now that Monkuki is going for Bekir, and this Seppi is about to get into the base. He sees he sees that Monkuki is going for very very early Q Plasma. And just generally very heavy economy. He doesn't have a depot yet, so he has nothing to worry about for vehicles, at least on this iteration. Monkuki could change this up. God did echo the scout out. So right now we see Monkuki has slightly jumped back at the 155 mark on this iteration. No scout, nothing to worry about. He could go for a depot if he wanted to, and he is definitely going for early vehicles. That's the only reason you'd go for early QP like this, as Vector pretty much, is to get early vehicles, because, well, yeah, 220 mark. He is not going heavily for Liquid Crystal to try to go for a more late game strategy. He is probably going to get a depot within the next 30 seconds or so. And... Okay, never mind 30 seconds, more like 10. 10 seconds! And God, on the other hand, going straight for Liquid Crystal, he's probably just going to be building up more and more resource processors. I imagine that... I'm actually a little surprised he hasn't set up one onto Q-Plasma just for one cycle. Very typically, Grecon players will do that in order to get an Octopod, and God has not done that. I guess he's quite confident he's going to be able to defend well enough... At this point, he's about a minute and a half up from the unplayable past, and there we go. There is that Q-Plasma RP. So he will get that one cycle. Whether or not he can use beyond that, I don't know. He's committed to look. He's committed to Q-Plasma. The 2.30 mark, it's actually a little bit later than normally what you'd expect is, like, at the start. Even if they're just starting RP, if you're really worried about getting attacked, one of your starting RPs could just go on Q-Plasma. 
get one cycle, and then you get an Octopod from there. But God not doing that, God fairly confident that he's not going to worry about that. And to that end, he might actually be wrong. Monkey is dealing a fair amount of damage. God jumping back, he doesn't have a defensive setup, he does have the money for an Octo. He has actually the money for an Octopod fairly soon. He will have it in time, and he's going to be building that as soon as he gets the chance, probably. Where is it? I don't see an Octopod. No, he's actually lifting... Why is he lifting that up? He is... I'm not sure why he just went and pretty much threw away his main builder force. I... He probably will be keeping this Octo in play rather than an RP. Is he moving that? No, he's not changing that up from an RP. Why is that not an RP? Or why is that an RP now? Apparently, God decided not to change that out. Monkey King, on the other hand, back in his base. He is going for auto defense before getting the depot instead of what we saw before, where he built the foundation for the depot right away. And God jumping back, he's well into the implementable pass right now. Not able to get an octopod right when he'd like to. Which is kind of unfortunate because he really could use that. So Monkuki on the other hand, this is when he got auto defense, he's doesn't really need it, honestly. I mean, he's Oh, never mind, what am I saying? He's being very tricky. Of course, he can build a foundation in his opponent's base, because that's what Anyone can do, actually. There's no restrictions on where you can construct things. And this is where auto-defense comes in handy. The Octopod is being built up. It will be able to get rid of this foundation before it's a big threat. However, if more foundations come in, it's gonna be a bit of an issue. The Octopod is up. It should be able to get rid of these... No, the healing is too much. Very nicely done by Monkuki now. It's... Let's see, I think that is gonna be consistent. Yes, the right time of coming along, that is making it consistent. So, God is going to have to worry about this. He does have his Octo coming in up, and it, it should help out a bit, but it's not going to be quite enough. There's no limit on Foundation healing. There's no energy limit like with Reefs, because typically they aren't abused like this, actually. And Reefs had no effective energy limit before, and then they got abused a lot, and now have an energy limit. More Octos coming up are not doing a great job, unfortunately. They are having to contend with three Foundations worth of healing, I think... God probably will have something up his sleeve to deal with this. Actually, if he raises up his Faro and Seppi now, then... There we go, that's what we're waiting for. That should give him enough firepower to at least get rid of the... Well, the Shinbeer's... Actually, either threat isn't really that big. It's just it's just the fact that they're getting healed up so much that makes it difficult. There goes... The infantry are gone, and the foundations should go soon after. God being held back a bit, but Monkuki did spend a lot of money. This is actually something that in the EXP build before version 1.5.3 came out. Foundations would refund money on death. And I am glad that change did not get... Just watch this now. You can see why this change would not have gone into the base build, because just look at what you could do with that. I mean, Monkuki would have been able to pull this harassment off for free. And that might have been a reason why it wasn't really even brought up a whole lot as a thing to do. Now, this being said, God has a healthy economy this entire time. He's not like he's... It's not some big change where he's losing a lot of stuff in the process. He's actually got a pretty healthy economy going. Monkuki, however, also does. And Monkuki looks like he might have started to expand a little bit too. Well, he was planning on with his Zion Beer. Not actually expanding it, and has no depot. So he's... His cheese has failed. The Foundation cheese has failed, and that was... Oh, actually, Jericho pointing out that it was a trickle refund after being built. So it'd be... I guess he'd build it for 75, and then over time would refund. I think it was 60 LC of that cost. Okay, that's a different way of doing it. I thought it was on death. Regardless, it still would have made this cheese much more... Well, not as much successful, but definitely would have made it much safer. But God pulled that out of his hat and is back in the game. God has tried to set up and should probably be getting a reef fairly soon. He actually has more money in the bank than Monkuki has. Monkuki does have a lot of Q plasma, but not really much liquid crystal. Has a depot coming up, and I expect Zion Pulsar's coming up fairly soon. Though... I'm not sure if he expects the Octopod coming in. A couple Zion Pulsar's will make short work of that Octopod, but they have to be built up pretty much now. And given the depot is still under construction, that is impossible. Now, on the other hand, God is building up... No, he's not building up a reef. He's building up a lot of RPs. That is what he's building up. I think he's going for a reef and then Corona boarding. Or at least, that's what I would expect. We'll see fairly soon, though. Monkuki, on the other hand, is going for an expansion. There we go. There are the expansion RPs being built up. He does have his depot up. He does have his Zion Veer up. So one Zion Pulsar from a Veer and... No, not one from a Veer. Okay, this one probably will be... 
Is he piloting with us? Why is he not piloting with us? There we go. Now he's piloting, getting his Ion Pulsar up from that beer, and that will help with the Occupied at first. The other two Ion Pulsars will come in to support. This first Ion Pulsar needs to jump into the depot now, though, if not sooner, and it's not doing so. Monkugi, however, just, just saves it. The other two Ion Pulsars coming up in time, and God retreating, realizing that he cannot do anything with that Octopod, wisely moving back and avoiding that destruction. Nicely done there. So, God, on the other hand, is... He is going for advanced structures, probably going to go for chrono porting right away. Wouldn't be surprised if he started permanent cloning this Octopod right here. Actually, I'd be a little bit surprised if he didn't do that, because permanent cloning is the thing he'd been doing for a little while. We will see, however, at Monkuki, he is expanding more. He does have... Well, he could get chrono porting once he gets the resources for it. I don't think he's going for that, or Gatech, rather. I don't think he's going for that. He, he might be, though. No, probably going for air units. Probably is get, this is going to be aerial control center, and then from there he'll build up some shin turgers and such, and use that to try to take care of the octopods, or potentially octopods, as soon as... There we go, there's chrono porting. Halfway done already at the 825 mark. Oh, Shijerokun pointing out that permacloning becomes a lot harder due to the fact that there is an unplayable past time wave. That is a good point. Actually, that's a really good point. Given God's general technique of chrono port jump back, undo, and then let it fall in the pillow. Yeah, God's standard technique wouldn't work. He probably has another technique to make up for that, but his standard go back, or chrono port, come back near the pillow past, undo, and then leave it for another time wave to propagate, that will not work. However, there is that first chrono port, regardless of permaclone attempt or not. God has made a chrono port, and Monkugi is teleporting in a bunch of Zion Pulsers, going towards the south base, unsure if God has expanded, which he is not. God staying inside his base, using a lot of resources inside of his own base, while Monkuki is actually jumping back to the 9 minute mark when he first upgraded Skip Teleport on these Zion Pulsers, about 2 minutes prior to where we were looking. Or maybe not quite 2 minutes. A minute or so prior. And there goes Monkuki. So God does have more units coming up, another amount coming up. I. Okay, there's the Octopod coming in at the Unplayable Past Edge. And there's another arrival right here. The same Octopod being chrono port back. Yes, it looks like God is going for a permaclone strategy. It's... Is he trying to get that Octopod killed so it doesn't... I think he might be trying to get the Octopod killed so it doesn't chrono port, but I think that was just the chrono port Octopod getting killed. And Monkugi hitting powerfully with three Zion Pulsers. Now, God does have permaclone... He has a chrono porting. <laughs> he has permacloning researched. Because he just does that now. He has chrono porting researched. And he could get some units back in from the present. However, this mound, not really helpful for that purpose. It is useful for communications, not super useful, and probably hierarchies and, such and so forth, but not that useful for getting advanced units to send back, it's like Pharopods, for example. Though admittedly, Octopods are a better choice because they would keep the Zion Pulsers busy. And they deal with Zion Pulsers just fine. And there's one Octopod coming in at the 10 8 mark. But it doesn't matter, the 1040 mark, that is when the Zion Pulses are coming... Actually, no, the 1005 marks when the Zion Pulses are coming in. However, they are... Okay, the Octopod is coming in at the 950 mark. This is when Monkuki is focused. At this point in time is when the Zion Pulses are being teleported in. However, one of the leader of Zion Beer was destroyed... Well, no longer a Zion Pulser. Lost a Zion Pulser and not able to teleport. Slowing down the assault by about a minute. And a couple of test searches were coming as well. They aren't super relevant, though they will be handy since the Octopod... Actually, not that handy. The Octopods are fairly... They are powerful against air. The Octo class is not quite like the Zion class. They actually are pretty good against air. Though Zion Halcyons are not to be underestimated against air either. Zion Pulsers cannot hit air. Octopods can hit air, and they can hit air moderately powerfully. It's enough that between them and a Sepipod, it's about even. And between them and a Teth Tercher, I think the Teth Tercher will win, but not for cost. So I would not expect this to work out too well. These Ted Thursers ran into that Octopod. And Monkuki, on the other hand, is dealing a lot of damage near the present. As we get to the 1348 mark at the present, he is doing a lot to God to slow him down. But not really all that much, necessarily. God still has a lot of potential to Chronoport back. And it looks like God is actually... No, it looks like not much is going to be helping him out right now. He didn't chronoport anything from the future, surprisingly, or if he did, he's cancelled it and trying to make up for it somehow. But it's not working out, and it looks like... Blue Time Wave, that... 
Well, it looks like it didn't really matter about the... about that Zion Veer, and Monkuki has fixed that up, causing the attack to happen sooner than it would have originally happened. No, actually, not even that! If we look, that Zion Pulsar that was destroyed is not on this time we've destroyed. The Octopods apparently haven't been distracted, possibly by the Teth Turchers, but it's generally being distracted and echoed out. So, ultimately, God losing his base a minute sooner than he would have, and I, he can Chronoport back, he can save this. From his point of view, he just... I think he just barely can. It looks like he just barely did. And... Hard to say, though. This appears to be a Chronoport departure, which means that there was no arrival from the departure that just went through, and that's going to be it for God. I think that's game. Although this departure is stuck on the timeline, nothing's going to happen to it, but still, another departure going back, and Monk will get his point of view at 13 to 6 mark. Well, in the past, this is the truth maker, and this is the game. I think God is... I think God's... I don't want to say God's finished, because there is still this span of time here that the Octopod could jump back to. And this is, there's the arrival in the Implevo Pass, God jumping back at the 10, 1042 mark, losing his triad, though. Even if he has the Octopod there, that's going to be a major loss. And, okay, Monkuki has a slip gate of his own at 12.58 mark. He has gate tech. He can, he can match chronoporting for chronoporting and has the units to do it with. Not the money so much. God definitely has more money, but Monkuki has the units to manage this with. And that's going to be game. It looks like even with the chronoport arrivals, not much has changed. God's still taking a lot of damage. And he did manage to take care of one of the Zion Bolsers. He got rid of one of the Zion Bolsers, damaged the other two, but it was not enough. That... That was a valiant effort, but I think Monkuki has bested God in this game. Yeah, I don't see any way out of this for God. He's really got nothing. I mean, Monkuki is about to chronoport back a bunch of stuff here, too, at the 1353 mark. I expect this to be a chronoport in about... Okay, that expenditure of Chrono Energy was hierarchy. And then in about 10 seconds, there'll be another chronoport, or all this Chrono Energy here. That'll all be used to chronoport. Or, or just teleport. That works too. At this stage, I suppose that works. I was expecting a chronoport, but hey, if he wants to teleport, then... He might as well, because he basically can get away with it. Wow, okay, that's... God jumping back to the 1014 mark. He does have... Well, I just have an eye on this Octopod here. He sees the Teth Turchers, and he sees that there's nothing he can do. Yeah, this is totally game. I know I've been saying that too much. I've said that too much. But God has not surrendered yet. And Crown and Jet pointing out that yes, God was seriously knocked back by that first attack. That did slow him down a bit. I mean, it didn't completely knock him out, but it certainly was distracting, and it really didn't help. And that is game. God throwing in the towel, and we are done here. They'll have another game, not between these two, mind you, but another game shortly. Once this is over, at least, and God officially surrenders, which should be soon. Okay, forget it. They're going to be chatting for a little while. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back... Oh, there's surrender. I will be back in a few minutes, so stay tuned.